bought some Bitcoin today for the first time ever. I want some growth. This is C4CW casting 495 celebrities worldwide. If you are true fans, then I, we, 495, most certainly appreciate you. And if you are not true fans, like I always say, there's no way for us to make you be. Yo, so I bought some uh, Bitcoin today um, for the very first time ever. I had never gotten into the crypto market previously in terms of actual crypto, like Ethereum, Litecoin, um, etc. Notwithstanding, um, I met a dude who has a uh, security clearance and he's a... Uh, He's a uh, computer programmer, developer, and uh, <clears throat> he actually told me about Ethereum before Ethereum popped off, and he told me that I should get up on it, but I wasn't ready for crypto, man, not not for cryptocurrency. I've been an investor for a long time in the stock market. I've been playing the stock market for a minute now. It's, it's not new to me. Like, I've, I've been investing... Um, yeah, you know, working with brokers and whatnot, you know, studying maths. I like to say maths because when I was in school, like, fucking no one said that. They're like, you know what I mean? It was like math or mathematics. But then, you know, flash forward to some other time frames. It's like, it's cool to say maths because it's totally legit. Um, now a disease. Um, yeah. I say, um... A lot on my show, and I don't really spend any fucking time to go back and edit it out. You know why? Because I don't fucking care, and it's just a waste of time. And it, my show wouldn't be legit if I did, because the shit is just raw, man. I recorded, you know, I recorded rugged. So you know, and and also there are time constraints, man. Like I got a lot of content to pump out, because a lot of people don't know, man. I'm going for I'm going for numbers here, man. It's a numbers game. They don't, they don't understand the method to the madness. They don't understand the architecture behind it. They think I just be like saying this, saying that, X, Y, Z, 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, A, E, B, C, 1, 2, 3. Uh, uh. I always hated that fucking song. I like Michael Jackson, but that song was corny. Shit was cornball AF. Um, Back to the stock market. Yeah, portfolios. Hmm. So I invested in cryptocurrency. I invested in some companies that support cryptocurrency. Like, um, I bought this company, man, out of Canada, Bitcoin Services. And it actually paid some dough. It actually paid some fucking dough. It paid some dough, believe it or not. I'm walking on air. I never thought I could be so fly. I, I. My name is One Sir Grove, and I'm 495. L four <laughs> That was fucking ludicrous. Because the original goes something like this: Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought I could be so free. Flying away on a wing in the prayer. Ooh ooh ooh. Whatever. It feels so good to be me. <laughs> I don't even know how that shit, it's a uh, real American hero. I saw that shit when I was um, like in second or third grade. That song's dope though. And I should know the lyrics, but I don't. <laughs> but yo, for real, check game. Um, I invested, I invested in uh, Bitcoin services and it was paying a little bit of dough. It really was. But I was also investing a little dust. Not like I was throwing huge sums of money. If I had, shit, it would have paid larger sums of dough. Uh, Bitcoin services was legit, but... Oh, yeah, I got to remind y'all, none of the information that I'm sharing with y'all should be construed as actual or even non-actual. <laughs> just said non-actual. Um, any type of legal, business, financial advice. No, it's all edutainment, infotainment, and, uh, yeah, don't take my fucking word for it. I could just be making up all this shit. I could just be very creative in everything that I have told you 
to date thus far, including information regarding the multiverse, could all just be totally fabricated. I'm totally just creative. Hmm. Yeah, you never know, man. It could just all be made up. I'm just, I could just be telling tall tales and none of this could be true. Um, I'm just saying I'm an entertainer. I'm an entertainer. <laughs> I'm going like 45 miles an hour. And I'm in the dark and it looks like a wormhole tunnel. It kind of does a little bit. You know, traveling between jurisdictions and shit. It's kind of like Quantum Leap at the beginning. When um Al, when he's fucking, um, when he's rolling the Outlands. It's kind of the same shit. I'm just, man, it's, man, it's kind of the same shit though. Um, Quantum Leap was fucking dope. Quantum Leap was fucking dope. What's his name, Scott Blackula? Am I saying his name right? What was the other gentleman's name? Fuck it, we're about to Googan this shit. Entering domain of Googan. Someone out there's like, fuck you, Grove. You think that shit's funny? You're not funny. And I hate your show. And I'm like, well... <laughs> I hear what you're saying. I also know that uh, a lot of times when you think, I think I'm being funny. (laughs) I'm actually being fucking serious. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's some entertainment. There's some entertainment to it on one hand, on one level. But uh, there's some other shit going on behind the scenes. This is just cover for some other shit. I'm just saying, man. Some of y'all probably figured that out by now. But, you know, what I just said is all entertainment. and should just be taken as a grain of salt. This isn't really cover for some other bigger shit. I mean, what would that be? You know what I mean? You're probably like, your, your podcast is already so fucking over the top, outrageous, outlandish, far fetched, far flung, goofy, silly, wacky, and all the other words that go with that data set nexus of information. How could it be part of some other shit that's like something that you're not really like being upfront about? Well, like I said, man, maybe it's not, and it probably isn't. Hmm. Whatever I just said, man, that contradicts what I'm saying now, is all entertainment, or isn't it? <laughs> you know, improv is weird, man. I always thought those people on Saturday Night Live, well, kind of thought they were out of their minds a little bit. And I don't even know what that means, out of their minds. But it was like, you know, the the, the like, what is the word, snortle? You know where they would like snortle? <laughs> that was always weird. Sound effects. I'm not a big, you know, like, not a big, imp- you know, what is it, an impressionist? Like, I don't do impressions, like, at all. Like, you know, I do Jaden Smith every once in a while. You know, I do I do him from After Earth. But, uh, sir, um, let's probably about my only impression that I can do. <laughs> I'm, I, I can't do... Who was the dude from fucking uh, Beverly Hills Cop? Or not, what am I saying, fucking Beverly Hills Cop? That was ridiculous, what I just said. Who was the dude, was it Mouth, from Police Academy? Come on, someone from my era, my generation? Or just someone who's an expert? I, I think I got 5-0 behind me, man, trying to track. Come on, 5-0, let's rock. Let's rock. I got I got three compute. I have for proper grammar purposes. It's not that I got. I have. I have three computers in my car, like Joan Tater. Now that was kind of a little mix between church, country, and a little bit of jazz funk. Yeah. Can I G funk it up? Got to get that West Coast whistle. Got to get a bass drum going. West Coast. 
Right, got to get that little G funk going. And so I'm going to G funk it up. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm going to do this. This is going to be crazy. Some of y'all are like, yeah, crazy, stupid. <laughs> Let's shoot for that. Boom, 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 West Coast. Boom, 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 boom. Three, boom, 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 boom. Three, boom, 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 Three computers in my car like John Teeter. Boom, 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 boom. That was fucking psychotic. <laughs> yeah! Now let's get back to fucking the stock market. And questions remain unanswered. Is this podcast a front for something larger or smaller? <laughs> or medium size in between? So if, if, if it's a front for something larger... Or if it's a front for something smaller, how could it be a front for something middler? <laughs> you know who I like? I like Bette Midler. When I, some of y'all don't know who she is. You're probably like, come on, Grove. That was just like a curveball. All of a sudden, you just said Bette Midler. You're all over the place, dude. You have Asperger's. Yeah, I don't. But um, I could play along like I do. Um, like Cartman, you know what I'm saying? From uh, third base. <laughs> I meant South Park, and I decided to switch it out with third base. Because you don't remember third base, do you? You don't remember third base. The rap group? Nah. Y'all don't remember D-Nice either. My name is D-Nice, nice, nice. My name is D-Nice, nice. Taking out your suckers and you don't know how I did it. Boom, boom, boom. My name is the nice, the nice, the nice. Taking out your suckers and you don't know how I did it, 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 did it. Yeah, I kind of added to that shit, embellished it a little bit. Y'all don't remember fucking Kwame, huh? Y'all don't remember the polka dotted nigga? No, and y'all don't remember Candyman knocking the boots. I hated that fucking song. Knock, knock, knocking the boots. Shit was corny. I actually lost my virginity around that same time frame era. I'm just saying, I'm being honest. I'm not a lascivious person. I don't talk about sex. Fucking this bitch. 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 And I don't talk about Versace or Prada or Fendi or Louis Vuitton or whatever niggas think, you know, whatever gear. Fucking this bitch. Fucking this bitch. Fucking this bitch. Fucking this bitch. Check out this chain. Check out this chain. Check out my clothes. Check out my chain. Ha ha ha. Check out my clothes. Check out my clothes. Check out my clothes. Check out my clothes, check out my chain, check out my Jordans, yeah! Now let's do it again, fucking this bitch, fucking this bitch, check out my Jordans, check out my chain, check out my clothes, yeah, cause I'm a gangster. Um, anyway, I'm just saying, knock, knock, knocking the boots, I hated that fucking song. I wanted to stab that fucking song! Stab that fucking song! Now, how far have I gone off on a tangent? 14 minutes, 21, 2, 3 seconds. Um, did you guys ever believe that Mr. Ed is really backmasked? You know? Like backmasked, like backward, like. <laughs> the incredible Mr. Ed. Pray to Satan, the devil, Lucifer. The incredible Mr. Ed. A horse is a horse, a horse, of course, pray to the devil, Satan, Lucifer. (laughs) 
Mr. Red. The incredible Mr. Red. Mr. Red. Pray to the devil, Lucifer, Satan. Give your soul. The incredible Mr. Red. Pray to devil. The devil. Pray, pray, pray to Satan, devil, Lucifer, Satan, Belzebub. The incredible Mr. Red. I'm just saying, man, when I was in fucking junior high school, I know it's pray to the devil, and I said pray to devil. Kind of fucked it up a little bit, but it's all improv. But um, when I was in fucking junior high school, I can understand why some Americans, man, are, are, are looked upon as being a little off. <laughs> Especially given all the fucking stories that we were told. Like, if you play the Incredible Mr. Ed album backward, it literally says, pray to hell, Satan, the devil, Lucifer, and give your soul over to Nickelodeon. Like, I was told that shit when I was in junior high school. And did I believe it? Yes. Um, so financial advice, I cannot give any fucking advice. Market, financial, business, or otherwise. So let's check out Police Academy. Let's check out this nigga. What's his name? Mouth? Mouth was dope. I wish I had his skills. You know, in neuro-linguistic programming, you're not supposed to say, I wish I had. No, you're supposed to say, when I have. Magical, radical fucking skills that surpass any and all. (laughs) I just had to think about that, like what I'm talking about for, for, for a second. Okay, hold up. Mouth Police Academy. A lot of people, man, they don't know. They ain't from this generation, you know. Mouth Police I'm going to see how long it takes me to... Oh, there it is. There it is. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Michael Winslow. Yes. Man of 10,000 noises. That dude was dope. Michael Winslow, 1985, age 60. What the fuck? I had no idea that Michael Winslow... Is from uh, the Pacific Northwest. That's super fucking dope. I seriously had no clue, man. Had no fucking clue. Man, he looks like he aged well. He's from Spokane, Washington. He's from the same state that I'm from. He has two children. I had no fucking idea. Yo, DJ Slow Mo. Yo, Cousin Rizzo. Yo, Aaron. Yo. Yo. Yo, Sin. Yo, Broccoli Landers. Yo, Spank Motherfucking T. Yo, Lamont. DJ Lethal, yo, 495, you know what I'm saying, L4, did y'all know? No, y'all didn't know. Maybe someone did, I'm sure DJ Slow Mo probably knew, Sen probably knows, Brock might know, Spank might not, you know, I I didn't mean to say that, Spank, I meant to say Spank might know, my guys actually might know, they might know, they're like trivia guys, Spank motherfucking Tia trivia dude. Spank T was on the honor roll, man. Don't mistake Spank motherfucking T's name, Spank motherfucking T, for some shit. Spank motherfucking T was on the honor roll. That's my that's my dude right there. Spank motherfucking T ain't no joke, man. Uh, DJ Slow Mo, shh, man, come on. My cousin Rizzo, shh, man, come on. My my homie Aaron, our homie Aaron, come on, shh, come on. Need I say the nigga Scoot? You know, come on, Scoot. Come on, bro. Bro, we used to be real close, bro. Sen, Sen probably know. Look, my dudes are smart dudes. They are. They really are, man. The homies, they be knowing shit. But I never knew this shit, though. As much trivia as many fucking trivia, Trivial Pursuit games and and uh, Pat Sajak and... Hmm? What did I just fucking say? I'll say Pat Sajak. Is that shit right? What am I talking about, man? Alex Trebek is what I meant. Pat's sake, I'm not talking about Wheel of Fortune. I'm talking about Jeopardy. Jeopardy, any of the different trivia games that I've ever played, I did not know that Michael Winslow was from the state of Washington, man. Spokane, Washington. That's fucking dope. Anyway, he he had all the um he had all the sounds in the movie Police Academy, which um a lot of y'all don't even know anything about, sadly, because We're living in a new world. It's pretty weird. It's a weird world. 
It is a weird world in which we live now. In which we live now. Let's look up a salute to Michael Winslow. Let's check out um real quick the Barefoot Bandit. I've been on this Barefoot Bandit kick for a minute. Um, especially having just watched this documentary. The Barefoot Bandit. Colson. What's his name? Colson. Colton Harris. Colton Harris Moore. I wonder if I ever if I ever met this dude. He looked kind of familiar. I don't think I have. I don't think. The fuck? He's at the Herald? What? Hold up, man. Colton says travel restrictions are holding back a lucrative public speaking career. He got a lot of different looks and shit. Man, he looked he looked like a Marine Corps dude. Colton Harris Moore asked the public for one hundred twenty five thousand to pay for his flight training. The folk celebrity fugitive on the lamp for more than two years. Stolen crashed three planes. Um Wow. Yeah. I mean <laughs> Look, okay, I'm a, I'm a, hey listen. I'm gonna share with y'all the following. The best shit I've seen on the internet in a long time. Look at this video right here. Check this out. The Barefoot Bandit YouTube. This one right here. Hold up. Videos. The legendary. Yeah, man. This one right here. Look at this right here. This is the company. This is the organization. This is the fucking production um, that I was talking about right here. Teenage Fugitive, the legendary Barefoot Bandit, Real Stories. It's from Real Stories is the uploader that has 2.96 million subscribers. It was published 15 June 2019. Quote, Colton Harris Moore's superhuman ability to escape capture by stealing airplanes and living in the wilderness made him a modern day folk hero. I'm not going to read the rest of it. That's my scholarly citation. Um, that look, I'm just saying, man, this is a must see teenage fugitive. He's obviously not a fucking teenager anymore. Teenage fugitive, the legendary barefoot bandit crime documentary, crime documentary, real stories. <laughs> Check this shit out, man. This dude's legs look like tree, like tree trunks, man. This kid is a fucking soldier. Like, straight up. Why'd they tell him to put his head down in Africa? Whatever fucking country that is. What country is that? Maybe that's not Africa. I shouldn't have said that. I don't know. Some island country. Oh, here's my video that I uploaded right here. Clueless Stooges at DIA. Yeah, fuck DIA. Man, fuck the Defense Intelligence Agency. Not all of them. Just the ones I talk to, man, who are pieces of shit. Hold up, let me see. Catch me if you can, Barefoot Bandit. All right. Um, let me see. Hold up. Let's get let's get some let's get some updated info. Let's get some intel. <coughs> I got way too many fucking windows open here. Close Reddit. Close this. Close that. All right, the Barefoot Bandit. <coughs> uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 28 years old. Um, 22 March 1991, six foot five. Colton Harris Moore. Wiki. He became known as the Barefoot Bandit by reportedly committing some of his crimes barefoot. Check game, though. Oh, shit, he's from Mount Vernon. I used to roll through Mount Vernon all the time. Yeah, man. Yeah, you got to check this dude out. His movie, what is it? Got 8.5 stars? Shit, that's dope. The Barefoot Bandit documentary. But the one that I saw is the free one. The one that I just saw is, is Teenage Fugitive, the legendary Barefoot Bandit, real stories. I'm going to keep the volume down so, you know, I don't infringe. 
but I'm going to click play to make sure this is the one that I'm talking about here. Teenage Fugitive, the legendary Barefoot Bandit crime documentary. Let me see. I believe this is the one. It looks like it, it has that, that green background. Part of it is animated. 13 July 2010. Okay. They're walking him down the, sh the, the set. He's on the boulevard. They got him shackled up. They're, walk they're having him walk. He's got some gear on. Some kicks and a bulletproof vest. And then uh, he's got his head down. They must have told him to keep his head down. See, that would have been dope if he had an Uzi and he just blasted his way out. Lay down! Fuck y'all! And stole a plane and flew the fuck up out of that shit. That would have been dope. Um... Uzi carbine, um, or Uzi rifle. So yeah, Uzi rifle, Uzi carbine used interchangeably. <clears throat> that would have been so dope. That would have been so dope, you know, to see that shit because they obviously videotaped it, and that would have made the story even fucking better. That would have made the story fucking ultra fucking even filthier what does this say right here submachine gun machine pistol mini uzi micro uzi israel place of origin wikipedia 1954 to present was used in the suez crisis 1950s forward 1990s uh, yugoslav wars Somali Civil War, Sierra Leone Civil War, Burundian Civil War, First Congo War. Man, 2000s war in Darfur. Darfur, some would say. Looks like Darfur to me, but they call it it's Darfur. Mexican Drug War, Kivu Conflict, First Ivorian Civil War. Huh, 2010s Miami Drug Wars. What? Syrian Civil War? Man, the Uzi is illmatic. Length, 445 millimeters, 17.5 inches, stockless, 3.5 kilograms, 7.72 pounds. Man. Yeah, barrel length, 260 millimeters, cartridge, 9 millimeter parabellum. Yes, sir. Action, blowback, open bolt, rate of fire, 600 rounds a minute. Brrr, yeah. yeah, man. If the uh, <laughs> if the barefoot bandit had, like, opened up on them fools that had him, like, marching down the street, that would have been a trip. If he just did some maneuver and just came out. And then just went fucking, just went fucking dashing like mad dash shit. Started up some plane and shit and just fucking flew out. And they caught that shit on film. That shit would be ultra. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of C4CW Casting 495 Celebrities Worldwide.